The math modulator actually takes in two signals on the one side here with this knob, on the right side also with the knob. And you have a drop down where you can select multiple math operations, multiply, add, subtraction, minimal, maximum and quantize. And uh, the general idea about this is that you modulate each of these knobs here and then you get the signal out with this uh, modulator handle. So for instance, you can multiply multiple uh, modulations. You can say you have a macro knob, which is A. You have a macro knob, which is B maybe. You probably don't need B because you can just dial this in here on the fly, but you can also modulate this too. So we modulate here B by 100% and uh, also A. And then you get the modulation out of this. If you turn up A, nothing happens. If you turn up B, you can see we multiply now A and B. So the modulation value of A and the modulation value of B is multiplied. You can also do add. So we add here 50% to, to 50%, which equals to 100% modulation uh, value. So each of the, the, the full range is modulated, basically. Or if you go to... 25 here and 25 here, then you have 50% modulation added here, right? So this is the general idea behind these uh, operations. We offer also have subtract, which then subtracts modulation A from modulation B. We have minimum, which kind of gives you the value of each of these modulators, which is uh, the smallest. So if this one is small, smaller than this modulation, then you get this value here. And if this one is smaller, then you get this modulation here, right? So it looks for the smallest value in each of these modulators and gives you the smallest value back. The same for maximum here. Um, so you can see if I turn this, nothing happens here with the modulation. Maybe I can increase here the size. Uh, nothing happens, but when I get greater than this value, then this takes this value of B. At the moment, it takes the modulation of A because this one is bigger. You can see now we're modulating with the B knob here because this modulation value is greater than this one. So this gives you basically the max maximum of A and B back, exactly what it says. And then you have here quantize. Uh, where you can say, um, I want to modulate with A this knob here, but quantized. So you can see when I'm modulating here, or maybe I, I go here to zero and this to zero and modulate this full range, and I modulate this full range so you can see what's going on. You can see when I modulate directly with, I, with A here, the resonance, it's pretty smooth, right? But this one here is kind of stepped, it's quantized to a, to a certain value. And when you have the second um, modulator knob here to 100%, you have exactly the quantized steps of 20. So um, the whole modulation range is basically divi divided into 20 equal steps. If you go to 50% here, then you have to divide the uh, full modulation range into 10 equal steps. You can see this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 equal steps, basically. And you can make this even smaller here, maybe 10%, and then you get even less steps. So it's two steps at the moment here. So all you have to do, all you have to know is basically if you have to set 100%, uh, your resolution or your modulation re resolution is 20 steps. So now when we moved here the slider from left to right, we um, equally divided the modulation range into 20 equal steps. That's all you have to know. And yeah, you can switch between these math operations here. You can combine this not only with macro knobs, you can also use LFOs, of course. And just modulate this here in this way. And you can see this modulation is stepped now.
instead of having a smooth kind of uh, modulation applying. We go to 50, you can see it better. So you can, you can quantize something. Also the same thing as before with the min max, if we take two LFOs or maybe a random, random modulator here. And we modulate uh, the B knob here, go to max, modulate this full range, go to And then we apply this here too. Um, I maybe modulate less here, something like this. So now it takes basically the maximum value from either one or B and applies it to um, the cut off knob here. And you can see it results in some strange modulations sometimes. So it's a nice modulator and Usually you don't need it that much, but sometimes if you want to apply some math operations to your modulations, then this is a pretty interesting modulator.